Hi, I'm Scott Swenson. We're at Lynn's Propane Trucks. We've got another stock truck here for you today. This is a 2023 Peterbilt. As you can see, we have the new cab style here. This truck's loaded front to back. We've been the front air chrome bumper, chrome grille, stainless steel exterior sun visor. We've got the air horns with the air horn covers. Bright finish mirrors, aluminum steps, aluminum fuel tank. In the back, stainless fenders, stainless deck, uh, stainless oversized meter box. You see, also see up here we've got the strobe lights. These work in conjunction with one on the rear head of the tank on a factory rocker uh, right in the cab. Uh, let's go into the cab and take a look at a few of the options in there. In the cab here we have all the comforts uh, right on the door. Driver door you have controls for power windows, power locks, power mirrors, heated mirrors as well. Uh, moving across we've got a couple of uh, switches there that control the work lights. So there's a couple work lights on the rear corner of the cab and then we've got a couple on the back of the tank as well. Coming across, we've got the strobe light here. These are the fog lights in the front bumper. Uh, exhaust brake, uh, engine regen here for the after treatment system and then down a little lower we've got the rear differential lock switch. Concert class radio uh, and then down below here, uh, as you can see that, we've got two USB chargers, two 12-volt receptacles as well. Charge all your in-cab electronics, phones, whatever it is, tablets, uh, that you need to get, keep charged up throughout the day. Uh, we have a custom-made printer stand here. This is nice and solid. It's custom made to each cab, so it's not going to be rattling or shaking as you're driving down the road. Nice and solid here. With your Epson slip printer, down below we've got a ticket holder. This really he helps keep your drivers organized. A lot of times we'll see all the tickets stacked on the windshield or on a, in a box on the floor or something like that. That really helps them stay organized. We also have a backup camera on this truck, so it's tied into the reverse circuit. You hit reverse, it'll come up here. Uh, the camera's on the rear head of the tank. It's a really nice safety feature. Uh, it eliminates that blind spot directly behind the truck. We mount it over here on this column so it's near the mirrors. So instead of having to go from the center to each side as you're using your mirrors to back down, you're just looking over this side. You can see directly behind the truck. You can see down the passenger side of the truck and then shift back to your other mirror. It's a nice location for this. Makes it really easy to use. This truck has a four function remote. We've got PTO, throttle, emergency stop, and power out for the hose rail. Uh, so this is, this is nice and deep snow. You hit that power out. Uh, it really helps you unroll the hose. Uh, if you're traipsing through snow and mud, it makes uh, the day a little bit easier. PTO and throttle, we've got those. Um, these are nice to have all these additional options on the handheld just because all you need is the single function. But we find a lot of times when you just have the single function, the remote lives on the dash. They don't carry it uh, to every delivery like they're supposed to be by law. Uh, so if this stops working, they're used to using a PTO throttle and reel out. They're putting a new battery in it right away because they use it on every delivery. Uh, let's uh, go to the side of the truck and take a look at a few of the options there. Again, we've got the aluminum wheels, uh, the bright finish, heated, power mirrors, aluminum steps, aluminum fuel tank. We've got the work lights we were talking about here in the cab on the lower rear corners of the cab and two on the rear head of the truck. Turn those on, it illuminates the side of the truck, the back of the truck. Uh, it's really nice, your driver can see where he's walking, where he's working, especially in the snow and ice. It's a really nice safety feature. Uh, we've got our chalk block holder here. Spring loaded, nice and easy to use. Rubber on the front and the back so they're not banging around as you're driving down the road. Simple, nice and simple. Stainless fender brackets, stainless fenders. Uh, behind that, we've got the stainless spacer here. Uh, so we set the mud flap back so you can't catch it between your tire and a snowbank and tear it off. Uh, and the stainless spacer he's, helps keep debris off the back of the truck. Let's take a look at the back of the truck now. To the back of the truck now. Let's start up top here. Um, you can see we've got the two work lights we've already talked about, illuminating the workspace in back of the truck. We've got our strobe light in between those uh, that works in conjunction with the two on the front grill. Right below that's a camera for our backup camera. Uh, it shows you all, all the space behind the back of the truck you normally couldn't see from your mirrors while you're backing down a driveway. Uh, coming down, we've got the recessed float gauge. Normally you see the, uh, 
little eyebrow with a rain guard over it with the rust dripping down. Uh, this is recessed. You're not going to shear it off or have any problems with it. You're not going to have all the rust running down the tank either. Uh, down to the back deck, we've got a stainless steel lowered back deck. Everything's within your center of gravity here. Whether you're working at the meter uh, or the reel, everything's within your center of gravity. Normally you'll see the trucks, they prefab a deck, they've got the chassis rails from the factory, they set it on top of that, bolt it to the chassis rails, everything's up higher. You're working up above your center of gravity. Uh, this is nice and, uh, nice and easy to use, driver friendly. You'll also notice we've got angles on our fills and they're nice and low. I see a lot of guys uh, filling their bobtails. The fills are up high. They've got that two inch hose in the winter that's not flexible at all. Struggling to get the acne threads lined up just right. With this it's nice and simple. They're the right height, the right angle. You just bring the hose right over, lines right up, and you thread the acne on. Nice and simple. Uh, also on the fill here, we've got a blow off tube for the liquid. So when you're done loading the truck, just open that up, it'll blow off up at the top of the tank. Over here, we've got an oversized meter box. In the meter box, we have a shelf, keep your gloves, fittings, anything you use throughout the day. Also on the side here, we've got a little spray bottle holder so that you can keep your leak check. I know a lot of the guys use that for bee killer in the winter, uh, in the summer, so it's nice and handy, uh, but um, there's a lot of uses for that. Uh, we house our hose end nozzle right in the meter box keeps it clean and dry out of the dirt and grime from all the roads uh, keeps the snow and ice off it easy in easy out nice and simple a lot of times I see they're threading them down on the deck every time after delivery unthreading it off the deck when you get there to make a delivery this makes it nice and simple and it keeps it out of the weather as well uh, we've got an IQ register uh, on this two-stage preset meter uh, let's move across here to the reel Got a polished aluminum reel, spec for 250 feet of one inch hose, comes standard with 150 feet. As you can see, we've got a lot of extra space in here. Uh, your guys are out doing 30, 40, 60 deliveries a day in the winter. They're not reeling this up perfect like this. They're throwing it on. And with an oversized reel, uh, you're not rubbing it against the deck. It's not lopping over and getting caught between the drum and the frame, nicking the hose, shortening the life of the hose. Uh, this really works well. It makes it much, much easier when you're the driver. But we also have the guide master to help reel it in. Uh, without this, you've got to guide it in with your hand. Uh, mud, anything else the hose pulls through, you get on your hands and your gloves. With this, it's nice and easy on the back. Uh, you just reel it and guide it right in. Nice and simple. Let's head to the side of the truck and take a look at a couple more options. Again, we have the lowered stainless deck, polished aluminum reel. Stainless fenders, stainless fender brackets, stainless spacer behind the fender. Uh, moving up here, we've got our stainless cover on our DEF tank. Aluminum cover on the after treatment device. Stainless cover on the uh, vertical exhaust. Grab handles on both sides. This truck is specced absolutely beautifully. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. 800-252-5467. We'll talk to you soon.